the chef behind this popular Brooklyn restaurant is now being celebrated for more than fine dining. Charlie Mitchell is the first black chef in New York City to be awarded a Michelin star and just the second black executive chef in the country to achieve that honor. I wanted to always, you know, plant my feet here and be a serious New York City chef, so that was always a goal of mine. And look at you now. Yeah. <laughs> Dreams come true. Yeah. Mitchell was born and raised in Detroit and developed a passion for food and cooking from his grandmother. I think the thing that stuck with me the most is like she used to like this like whole fry fish, like whole fry bass all the time when I was younger, and I think that stood out the most. Head on? Always. Oh. <laughs> he attended culinary school for a few months, but preferred on-the-job training instead. I ended up like Googling restaurants in the metro area, got my first real job, and in that kitchen is where I was like, wow, like I love the way they work. I love how professional it is. Like I'm using ingredients I've never had, never learned about. Years of experience in world-class restaurants like 11 Madison Park eventually led him to this quiet street in Brooklyn Heights. When Clover Hill opened one year ago, he became its executive chef in charge of creating the menu. Mitchell's team plates an eight-course tasting menu that regularly changes with the best seasonal foods available. I guess it's challenging, but we're always changing something, or we're always trying to make the dish the best version of itself, right? So we may tweak it every day for two weeks straight if we have to, to get it to be like a perfect dish. That quest for perfection did not go unnoticed. When Michelin announced it starred restaurants in October. Not only did Clover Hill earn a star in its first year, but Chef Mitchell picked up the award for best young chef. That was a complete surprise when they announced that, and I was just humbled, you know. Were you aware at the time of the historic implications? I was not, not the time. You always think so many people have come before you, you just assume that someone has already done this, you know? You just, this doesn't cross your mind that you may be the first or second to do really anything. Especially here in New York City. Why do you think that's the case? Why do you think there aren't more people who look like us as executive chefs in fine dining restaurants like this? You don't make a lot of money as a young cook, you know? So I think a lot of times we're like chasing a very different American dream than to kind of put up with these aggressive environments that are often led by people who don't look like us. I tasted some of the iconic dishes that earned this unique place in the food world. I'm gonna come around and try this here, although it's almost too pretty, pretty to touch. <laughs> Including a shark fin flounder and a spicy tapioca. Yeah, but this is nice, and it's subtle. And a Japanese macro. We dry age it, we hang it a little bit, and then we finish it in a little bit of beeswax so that it retains moisture. When people leave your restaurant, what, what do you want them to, to take away? I want them to kind of be, you know, excited or inspired about food, you know? Like, that's something that is very important to us. And wow. Folks, Charlie Mitchell, the chef there, not done yet. Clover Hill, also a semifinalist for one of the other most prestigious awards in food, the James Beard uh -huh. Award. It is God, really like Clover artistry. Hill, room for a four tonight. Yeah, exactly. I'm calling for Mr. Melvin. Oh, it's, it's funny because he said it right after they announced the, the award. Yeah. The wait now. It's a couple months. I know. So that's that's really really Can you hold this up? Yeah. I think I think we could probably get over. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. Wow, that's wow. a cool guy too. Just yeah, the nicest guy. guy. Wow. Yeah, so and good to shine a light on that for this month, especially yeah. for young people who are watching. They need to see somebody who looks like yeah. them on a show like this yep. to be inspired to go. Yeah, hey, you know yeah, what? Absolutely. I can do that. Too. Yeah. That is why representation cool. matters, brother. Yeah. Absolutely.